Hello there. Welcome to Sean Academy. Today in this video we're going to learn how to start a baby shop boutique business. My name is Sarah and I will be your instructor in this video. Before we start a baby shop boutique business, let's take a closer look at what goes into starting one and how we can make yours profitable. Millions of children are born each year, which means that many parents are looking for baby clothing, toys, and other necessities. Even when spending is low, one area where people cannot avoid spending money is on their children, particularly a new baby. This is why a baby boutique has the potential to be profitable and can be started in a variety of ways, but you must carefully plan your venture before going into business. Babies are adorable creatures, and the items they require are equally so. First and foremost, you must gain retail experience by working for a retailer for a few months or so. Then you must thoroughly plan your store by visiting shops with similar layouts to the one you want to open. Step 1. Research the industry. You should be aware that this industry is primarily made up of specialized clothing retailers who sell a wide variety of infant and children's wear such as dresses, jackets, jumpsuits, sleepwear, and more. Basic alterations such as hemming, taking in or letting out seams, and lengthening or shortening sleeves are available as extra services. According to research, even though macroeconomic growth encouraged shoppers to spend on high-end children's clothing over the five years to 2017, many clothing purchases were captured by industries that directly compete for consumer dollars. For example, a massive increase in the number of fixed broadband connections has made online shopping more accessible. It is believed that this has cornered demand from brick-and-mortar businesses in the industry. Due to limited consumer leisure time, shoppers prefer to visit department stores or other one-stop shop businesses over specialty retailers in this industry. You should also be aware that this industry is highly concentrated, with the top four players accounting for 45.8% of total industry revenue. According to research, national chains provide a diverse range of products at competitive prices, posing a threat to new entrants. The concentration has risen in recent years as major players have opened new stores and engaged in merger and acquisition activity. Keep in mind that the high cost of establishing and maintaining brand affinity is a significant barrier to entry in this industry. Step 2. Research the market and conduct feasibility studies. According to studies, when families are strapped for cash, parents are more likely to invest in educational toys, books, games, and interactive toys. Parents who are short on funds want to feel as if they have contributed to their child's well-being rather than just their toy box. Remember that if you enjoy working with families and children and the challenge of running a retail business, you might enjoy running your own baby boutique. You should be aware that business management will take up a significant portion of your time, so the person should have some solid knowledge or experience in that area. In this business, your ideal customers will be anyone who is expecting a child, has a child, or knows someone who has a child. We also believe that a more upscale boutique can make more profit per item, but a budget-friendly store will always be popular. Your potential customer base is practically the entire world. Step 3. Determine which niche to focus on. Even with rising consumer spending on baby products and services, starting a successful baby-focused business is not an easy task. Keep in mind that there are numerous strategies you can use to gain a market share and steadily grow your business. Following your feasibility study, you will need to decide what kind of baby products you want to sell in your boutique. Will it be a one-stop shop or a specialty shop? Will you sell everything, bath, bedding, feeding, travel accessories, furniture, and toys, or will you specialize in one or more of these categories? Will it sell high-end items or mass-market items? You could sell organic baby clothes, used baby clothes, or designer baby brands. You must recognize that your niche will determine your target market or customer. You can also open a boutique that only sells baby clothes or one that sells clothing, toys, furniture, and other items that children and parents require. You might even want to sell maternity clothing alongside baby items in your store. Step 4. Determine the industry's level of competition. This industry is made up of various segments and products such as toys, feeding accessories, wipes, disposable diapers, body care products, soothers, and so on. 
We believe that the window for purchasing baby care products and accessories is rather narrow, but despite the industry's peculiarities, the global baby care market is expected to grow in total sales value in the coming years. According to research, the leading companies in the global baby care market are Procter & Gamble, Kimberly Clark, and Johnson & Johnson. Pangee's global market share for disposable baby diapers, wipes, and training pants was approximately 43% in 2015, and the company expects to maintain a similar market share through 2022. Kimberly Clark's market share is expected to remain stable at around 19% in the coming years. In contrast, Johnson & Johnson's market share is expected to decline, from an estimated 22% in 2016 to around 18% by 2022. It is worth noting that in the United States, private labels are the market leaders in baby wipes, accounting for 38% of total sales. Huggies Natural Care by Kimberly Clark is the second-largest baby wipe brand in the United States while Pampers Sensitive by Pangee is the third most popular brand of baby wipes among American consumers, accounting for 13% of the market. Munchkin, Doral Juvenile Group, Summer Infant, and Edgewell Personal Care are the top vendors in the baby care and safety accessories segment in the United States. When it comes to specific products, Johnson's is the preferred brand for baby oil and lotion in approximately 10% of American households, the highest share of all brands. Johnson is also a market leader in the baby shampoo children's market, with approximately 10.5% of U.S. households using Johnson's baby shampoo, and the most popular baby powder brand in the U.S., with nearly 20% market share. The major competitors in the industry are Bye Bye Baby, Fisher Price, Four Moms, Babies Are Us, Giggle, Fawns and Forest, Honest, Baby Swag, and Bert's Baby. If you found this video useful, please show your appreciation by clicking the like button. Also, let us know in the comments if you'd like us to make a long, comprehensive follow-up video to learn more about how to start a baby shop boutique business. Also, don't forget to click the subscribe button to see more videos from Sean Academy. An extension for education.